Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to Automation. And it's been a while since I've had this game in a video. This is what I'm currently working on. It is called the Anavia GT, and it has a naturally aspirated V10. And this is what it looks like from the front. So we have these lines here, which go up from the side here, and then they go sort of through these things in in the glass and then they come out the top and also they go down the, and around here and this is this sort of lines up with this because making cars and making the whole stuff look good is all about making stuff line up and having lines and so there's lots of lines on this which line up the back then we have this thing that goes across the top and we have this which goes across there because lines and then we have a mildly stupid looking wing we seem to have gained spikes um i can't make the spikes go away there are there are just weird spikes coming out the back of my car we have big diffuser thing at the back some nice exhausts and screen wipers and there's sort of one word I have to describe this car. That word is bulbous. Because we have these round things here, that these sort of rounded there, and then we have the round light in there, and then those lights over there are rounded. And then this is not exactly rounded. But then we have rounded mirrors, and we have rounded backlights, and this bit here is rounded, and that's rounded, and the entire car in general is just really rounded, so yes. It also happens to be rear 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 engine. It's all wheel drive, but is rear biased. It has it's rear engine and it has a V10. And that's why there is a scoop here. Because when you're rear engine it makes sense to have the scoop at the back rather than putting a scoop at the front. So something that automation has recently added is the ability to do interior. So if we go and click the adjust with window transparency button, we have a slider here with which we can change the transparency of my windows. And I would give my car interior, but currently the interior consists of this. We have two types of steering wheel, and we have a few bits of interior stuff that is really fiddly to put together, and there currently aren't any seats. It's a bit weird, but at some point, hopefully, they will make all that kind of better and make stuff work better and make it all easier to use and then I'll be able to give my car some nice interior hopefully and then we can have transparent windows and all that stuff but until then this is what we have and of course being this is automation we can put this car into B and I have done that and now we shall go have a look at it as you may have noticed from automation, or if you didn't, I'm just going to tell you this thing has 439 horse. I think it's 439, 400 and something horsepower, and it weighs 2,093 kilograms. So it is kind of heavy, but it's sort of a luxury GT car. You can take this thing on a lovely cruise across the continent, hopefully without any issues. And so we have come to Italy because I like Italy. I think it's a great map. And they do fit around the corner, that's great. So this thing is quite loud. It has DCT, so we have an automatic and manual modes, and I'm just hoping you can hear me over the wail of the car. The V10 is quite loud. The suspension is also not entirely happy about the bumpiness of this road. As you can see, we have some speed. That's what 439 horsepower does to you. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's probably not 439. And as you can also see, we are quite grippy. We do have ESC. This is helping. But we can just blast down the motorway. We have about seven gears. Although we have so far only used six of six six of them. 
We're not quite in grip enough for that, though. This thing is surprisingly easy to control if it starts getting out of control. Like, we just had a little twitch there, no problem. It's not entirely happy at high speed, it does sometimes tend to get a bit grumpy. Also, the ESC seems to be very unhappy about the fact I'm driving it when it's slightly damaged. Oh. oh, we are having some serious frame rate. I think I think recording in Italy isn't the greatest of ideas. We might have to go somewhere else. We have come to the good old jungle rock. And for some reason, as you can see, the paints in Beamid's weird paint just doesn't work in beam it seems. But as you can see, we are quite quick and we also brake quite well. And we can do donuts, which is very important. Donuts while making an awful lot of noise with the ESC on. Okay, let's just turn the ESC off. There you go, that's better donuts. This thing is... I mean, I quite like the way it drives. Because, like, I can throw it sideways a bit there. No problem. Ooh! What? Turns out windows are actually trans... The windows are, like, one-way one, one -way glass. So, you see? Opaque, opaque, opaque! Oh, no, actually transparent on this side. There's another... There's a bomb there. Let's not go fishing in an expensive car. Look at that judgment. We can do J turns, that's also very cool. The suspension is quite stiff, it is quite it is intended to be quite sporty. Although I have made it so it's not rock solid because otherwise it's just really uncomfortable and a pain to drive down bumpy roads. Oh, um, scenery is very vicious. I have forgotten how vicious the scenery is. Um, and apparently frames. I'm just hoping we're recording in good frames, because OBS does not seem to be displaying in great frames, so I'm just hoping the output video is a bit better. So, trying out here. You can drive this thing very quickly. And that's what I meant to do, I assure you. I wanted to go down here. Now, this is the sort of car that I want to have. Because it's it's fast enough to be... Aha, I have a fast car. It doesn't actually look too bad. And I built it, so that's... That's not... Um, yeah. Not great at building cars. Oh, that's a big pothole. I have had a crash. My front wheel is not the angle it should be. Ugh! I also don't think the front suspension is working properly. Help! My steering doesn't work. It turns out this is slightly drive throwable. Sure. But as you can see, we've rev up to over 9,000 RPM with a V10. And it sounds fantastic. And the brakes. The brakes at low speed are great. At high speed, they're fairly terrible. 
we can just point in the direction and put off put well, I'm putting the foot down. You're not the one putting the foot down, you're the one watching the video. I may have slightly been watching OBS not watching the game and may have slightly crashed. Ooh, that was a pothole. Oh really? I was going to make some sick drift around that corner, but the game said no. You will not have sick drift. The only thing I will say with this is you can counter steer most of the time, I'm sure you shouldn't go the other way. Also the back lights don't work for some reason. The lights just don't seem to work properly. Like if if we just stop here and I turn on these, you see the the rear the not really the lights at the bottom are working. The main headlights don't. The indicators the indicators do. Not on the back though. Also for some reason they're opaque at the back. Just the lights seem to be opaque for some reason. Do some nice speedy driving. And now welcome to the Hiroki Raceway and see how well I can do driving this thing around a track and we can see how well it drives. Alright, we are off. How fast can we go around the first corner? Quite is the answer. Not on the grass. Up to over a hundred and can we get to 120? 120. Going to 120 wasn't a good idea. 120 was too much. I just like going to round numbers, even when I can't. Anyway, back on the track around here. Yeah, also, not on the grass. Grass is not great for cars on sporty tyres. I probably could make this thing a bit more rear-wheel drive biased and then have it actually perform drifts competently rather than what it does, which is sort of not entirely happily drift. No, it should be able to get to 120 along here. 126 is what I saw there. And then we... Oh! Oh, we had a bit of a slight car wanted control under braking. It's called. I know my terminology. Also, it turns out jumping over the curbs is a bad idea. Don't do it. Jumping over curbs breaks things. Although, there was much crashing and unhappy sounds on the underside of the car, but it's fine we have an insanely strong frame. Good idea. That's a sick drift that ends in a spin. You see, this is that's what happens when you try and drift this thing. You get a nice drift, and you come out of the drift, and you just go round in a small circle. Right now, we're going to go this way because short track. Get to the apex, and then the other apex, and then don't make random apex legends joke. And then that was not how track. And then we go up there and we come back down to this way. And break. And let's try and avoid extending the track too much. And let's avoid going down that little place we went down that way. This thing isn't entirely happy with chicanes. Chicanes tend to slightly offset it. Not offset, upset. Oh, upset is the word I was looking for. Not offset. This thing is not offset by chicanes. <laughs> that would be weird. You go around the chicane, your steering, your steering alignment just ruins itself. Let's see. Can I get there? You go. You sort of. You have to counter steer, but then you have to stop counter steering. I have actually spun out anyway, but you have to stop counter steering before you've finished at all straightening up. So if we go sideways here, I have to stop counting there and point back the other way. 
So before we even really started turning back, so we can't turn it and start counting the other way. It's a bit weird. Anyway, I found a place to do donuts. Here we have how to do donuts and just take a look at the map. Hmm, map says please help. Also, here's a question can we do reverse donuts? Just going to stop the man. Now that's breaking. Um, we we'll just have to move the camera over here a bit. But we can do reverse donuts as well. We can do both kinds of donuts. I like it. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Don't subscribe now, and if you can hear me at all, just thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now and make sure the notification bell is on. Until next time, goodbye. Oh, okay, we're going this way now. That was intentional. <laughs>